Can I turn one of those? IBM version. Uh, there's a lot of uh, these were made around 2000, 2001, and they've all got the same little drama. And it is. You can turn the brightness down, but it's excessively bright. And sometimes you can actually push it far enough. You sometimes get retrace. What this does is it makes it not black. Which means it looks like shit. Now uh, work out how to fix it. You'll need, you'll need one Phillips screwdriver, number two. You'll need a small flat blade, for the IBM anyway, to get the side wings off so they can get to the screws. I mean, solder, the leaded stuff's the best. Burns lower and it's at least flexible. Yeah, soldering iron. This one's currently set to 150 degrees. Seems to work. And some resistors. So these are the resistors you need. Uh, these, this is an 8.2 meg. And this one is a 6.8 meg. But what I'm going to do is try those ones first. See how it goes. If it's still too bright, go to those ones. Right, let's put them in. One's an IBM, and the screws are behind these flaps. That's all okay how to get them out. But yours may be slightly different. Let's get these out first. Yeah, excuse me. Put it in. Yeah. Okay, it comes off. And the screw. Oh, the covers are off. Make sure it's unplugged, by the way. The monitor's lying face down. These things are stinking heavy. And usually it doesn't come apart. Let's get the screwdriver. Number two, I think. And look. Then simply lift the cover off. Ah, yes. One monitor. Now, what we've got to, what we've got to do now is undo these for the top plate. See, all unplugged, no cables. This in the top. See so these tags. Grab this cover, pull back on it, should come up. And we're in. <coughs> now, still upside down, we're looking at the wrong way around. We are looking for That resistor right there. That's the offending victim. Uh, four, five, nine. It is on. Looking the right way up. The back of the screen. There. there, which is the right hand side, at the top, that resistor. In order to get this resistor out, normally you'd undo the connection to the sockets. That's your VJ one there, and all that, screws and bits and stuff. Nah, too lazy. What I'm going to do is just put a screwdriver on the top of that, just poke it on the top. The flat one, and then heat solder join up, and that'll drop away. It'll, it can stay there. It's not gonna, as long as it doesn't touch anything, it should be alright. Personally, it'd be well, probably a better idea to actually take it out altogether. But I'm just gonna sort of take it out of circuit and new one between here and here, and test it. 
the resistor. He's going to go. Okay. Something like that. Just gotta shorten his legs. Yeah. Here's where I do this if you haven't got a set of proper nippers. Oh, please. So that's the resistor and roughly where it's going to go. What you need to do, put this hole here, put it on, this hole here, the iron. Let's try that. Oh, I put on here. the iPhone. Yeah. Just ensure your uh, iron is nice and warm. And you got the joint. Hold on. Hold on. Resistor. Oh. One solder joint. So clean that one up. Done. Next, you have to put it back together. No, I'm just gonna turn it over, plug it in, see how we go. Far so good, you can't see a rat stop. That is one repaired monitor. Really, really nice picture. So, now you have to do is take your cables out, put the cover back on, put all the screws back together, turn around, let it warm up for about half an hour or so till you get the color return feature. Execute that and she should be a go. Enjoy it.